Hey, so we're looking at this new Ford Transit van, which is super nice. It's gonna get built out shortly, and we're just trying to check out from the factory, what are the EMF issues that can impact someone's health in this van when you're out on a long road trip or day-to-day -day driving? Where are the hotspots and what can we do about it? So let me show you what I've found. generally from the factory issue is the location of the battery and it's usually up by the driver's seating area in the case of this transit there are two batteries underneath the driver's seat and you can see we've got extremely high magnetic fields so we're going to look at some rewiring options for these batteries and possibly some shielding now we've also got a power inverter under the passenger seat with an outlet here uh, and we're also getting an elevated magnetic field there so uh, addressing those two will make the driving area much much safer and healthier for a long term we've also got a bundle of wires that comes up here and generally the reason we have an elevated magnetic field is because the current going back and forth on these wires is not balanced that is to say we've got current coming down here but instead of running a ground wire, a chassis ground wire, all the way back up to the front, it's going to land somewhere back here because the chassis is all around and available and it saves on cost. But it creates this magnetic field, so we're going to address that as well. EMF issues up front, including artificial light from this large tech screen and a pretty high amount of wireless radiation from various systems in the van uh, from the GPS to the Wi-Fi network in the van, the Bluetooth connectivity, and so forth. Don't sleep on the light. That's a really important aspect of EMF and health, and LED lights are generally really bad for your circadian rhythm and overall health. So you can see high spike in blue here on the overhead LEDs. We've got Pretty much the same thing coming out of the large um, infotainment screen and dashboard. You're gonna have a lot of flicker from these as well. So um, this can really affect you on a long drive and you're gonna wanna make sure that there are ways to disable those screens or to put a cover over them that reduces some of that blue light and uh, you know try to avoid long overnight trips with this kind of flashing light in front of you. So those are some of the basics from the factory that a vehicle like this will come with in terms of EMF exposure. And uh, the solutions for these are varied and really just depends on the ultimate goals for the build and uh, how much time that you think you're gonna be using the van, what the budget is. Uh, but generally there are very good ways to reduce this type of EMF exposure from the factory in a van. Now the build out with inverters and air conditioners and heaters and fans and all the other components that are gonna go into this van are a whole nother um, avenue of this. But again, there are generally very good solutions that we can use to make sure that you feel great when you're out on adventures in your van. So if you would like some help with your build or have some questions, definitely reach out, leave a comment below and uh, we'll talk soon.